In 2012, while visiting a rural church with an elder from a sister church in South Africa, I pointed to the huge holes that the church had in its roof and told him, isn't it sad that there are such holes in that roof? To which he responded something that surprised me. He said, yes, there are holes in that roof, but what about the holes in the pastor's theology? That sentence hit me and were the seeds that sparked in me the desire to create Madagascar 3M. Today, a new church building has replaced the old one and one of its pastors is pursuing theological training at the 3M Preaching Institute. I am Pastor David. The 3M Preaching Institute has been a tremendous blessing for us as it helps us acquire a full and comprehensive understanding of God's Word. Before 3MPI, accessing theological training was difficult due to geographical distance and financial constraint. Moreover, what makes the program truly valuable is its strong emphasis on applying God's word to personal life, not just accumulating academic knowledge. I can personally attest to this. I used to struggle with a hot temper that strained my relationships with others. Thankfully, through this program, God is transforming me into a more humble and gentle person. The vision of Madagascar 3M is to identify, train, and equip servants of God like Pastor David to serve rural communities. Currently, 22 students benefit from 3MPI's program, but a lot more should be done to impact this country. For instance, in a major reformed denomination with about 6,000 churches, only one out of five have permanent pastors. So far, Madagascar counts over 12,000 churches, and the shortage of shepherds is undeniable. Even in churches with pastors, the health of a pulpit and the quality of theological grounding raise concerns. Is the God of the Bible and the Gospel of Christ really preached? While 70% of Malagasy people identify as Christians, their belief in the God of the Bible and their obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ is very much questionable. Attending church is just a tradition that everyone does and personal application of the Christian faith on a daily basis is clearly missing. To address this challenge, we need to raise up, equip, and send an army of dedicated individuals who are committed to faithfully preaching the scriptures. This is the calling for every believer in Madagascar and this is the mission at the heart of Madagascar 3M. To accomplish this challenging task, we see the necessity of creating businesses to generate sustainable support. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few and we need to fuel the Lord's harvest. We invite you to see how business endeavors can be part of the solution in the next video. Thank you.